Hello everybody. I'm coming on probably about a minute early just in case I ran into any problems. That really makes me frantic when things don't work right. I see you guys popping in. I hope you all had a beautiful weekend. It was pretty gorgeous here. Hi Sierra. Thanks for watching. We've got Carol Grove, welcome. Lynn, hello. Sherry. Carol, hello to you. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Sierra. Debbie Fielder, welcome. Hi, Beth. Tammy, I hope you're feeling better. Sarah. Kathy, oh, we've got tons of people coming on now. Hi, Heather. Sherry. Julie, it's windy in North Dakota. It is really calm here um, now. It's been kind of overcast and not really that warm. We had a great weekend. We actually had three of the four grandkids. Um, my Both my stepdaughters, Stephanie and Anna, went on an adult camping weekend. So there were no kids there and they had a really good relaxing time. Hi Sandy, hi Becky, hi Francie, Lisa. Welcome. Let me know where you guys are coming from. Hi Kay. Mary Lynn, Washington, yay. So, um, hi Kathy, Karen. My mom, I went over to visit my mom for a couple days this week and I bought my flowers finally. So I spent, let's see, most of the day on Friday planting and getting my baskets hung and watering and all that good stuff. But um, my mom lives right in the middle of the state of Wisconsin, like in the middle. And there's a lot of Am Amish um, people around her area and they have some amazing greenhouses so uh, I used to spend oh gosh I don't even know three hundred dollars or more on flowers to um, you know hang out by the pool and plant in my planters and I've got a big front porch I like to hang a hanging plant there and uh, I started going to these Amish greenhouses like my hanging flowers are like this big around and like this they're absolutely amazing and they're $25 so instead of spending like 300 bucks on flowers I spent like 130 and I have the most amazing baskets I'll take some pictures of them and um, share them on my Facebook page so you can see them they're super super pretty so I did a lot of that and um, the grandkids were here and they were swimming all weekend and that was fabulous. And then Saturday night I took them to the movies and we had a great time there. So we just had a really good busy weekend. Haley came over today and took them to the Y to play and then three different parks they stopped at and played at. So that was fun. Um, let's see what else has been going on. Um, Huh. I forgot to delete some of my notes, so I'm a little confused. <laughs> Heather, you're in Crivets. Good for you. Hi, Anne. Hi, Sharon. Um, thank you for the share, Carol. So I'm getting ready to work on swaps again. Now that the new catalog has gone live, I got my huge order in. And um, now it's time to start swapping with something other than what we could pre-order. So... I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four different swaps going on with that. So I'm going to be really busy. And this week is going to be pretty crazy because I have Stamp Club on Monday night, Tuesday night, Thursday night. Wednesday I have a home party up in Green Bay during the day. So that'll be fun. It's going to be a crazy week. <laughs> and I have two blog hops this week. So I better get my butt in gear, right? Um... Let's see, if you didn't get the new catalog and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be happy to send you one. All you need to do is pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and I'll be happy to mail out a catalog. Or if you're local, you can stop by and pick one up anytime. Um, 
We have the June Paper Pumpkin. You can order by June 10th. That is going to be coordinating with our Broadway Bound bundle that's in the new catalog. And we're going to be playing with that a little bit tonight. I've got all new stuff to play with. Um, so we're going to be playing with some new stuff that I haven't done anything with yet. And let's see, I've got um, a card to share with you. This came from Katie Schmidt. Katie, thank you so much. And I think she used the baby wipe technique on here where you put reinkers on the baby wipe and stamp in that, maybe. I'm thinking that's what she did with this card. This comes from Katie Schmidt. I think I already said that. It says, Kelly, thank you and everyone who helped for the opportunity to put some things in your used stamp sale. I appreciate your thoughtfulness and hard work. And isn't that sweet? And she said, this card is cased from uh, Patty Dolan. So that was really nice. Thanks. Oh, today is June 10th. <gasps> You're right. Today is the last day to get the June paper pumpkin kit, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know why. I wrote that down earlier today and I thought that it was next week. Probably I'm just confused. I know, that's shocking, right? <laughs> but anyways, June 10th is today. So, um, oh, Michael, you're not very late. I'm just going through my hellos and so on and so forth. I'm glad you could join us. Hi, Faye. Welcome. Um, so I got that pretty card from Katie. And I always like to display my cards back here. Let's see if I can get this one back up. There we go. So that I can look at them. Denise, Pam, glad you could make it. Mary, um, we have some winners from last week. So I have some prizes to give away. I will be dropping, let's see, I think maybe one of our winners has an order here. So um, we'll check on that. I am going to be sending, hmm, let me open these up. You get, there's three ways to win. Leave a comment. There'll be a drawing for everybody that's commenting. Share my video. You can share it right now and then type in there shared because if you're not my friend on Facebook and I go to look at all the shares, I can't see some of you if you're not my friend. So if you put it in the comments, I'll make note of that. So when you share, you type in shared. That's great. Um, Bernie Seidel is my winner from last week and Bernie is from Nilsville, Wisconsin. Bernie is going to get, let me see if I can hold these up, a packet of these little metal embellishments. There's flowers and leaves in here and these are called Petal Passion embellishments. These were in the last mini catalog. So Bernie, I will pop these in the mail to you. I don't know if you're watching or not. And then I have some more of the Tutti Frutti self-adhesive self sequins, and these are for Janine Hyde. She lives in Nina, Wisconsin. So Janine, if you have an order on my porch, I'm going to put this in there, and if you don't, um, I will pop it in the mail to you. And that was for the share. Did I say that? That was for sharing. So make sure you're sharing my videos. And then we have... Um, Barbara Stone from Voorheesville, New York. Barbara gets this beautiful background bits. This is an exclusive hostess set. Um, I do have some prizes that I had purchased that are from the last catalog, so that's where this is coming from. Um, it is exclusive. You can't even get it anymore, so that's kind of cool. And Barbara, I will drop this in the mail for you. Barbara won this for placing an online order, so... Um, thank you guys very much. I can't wait to do drawings for the Facebook night, Facebook Live tonight so I can give away some more prizes. I love giving stuff away. Okay, let me set these aside so I don't lose them. All right, what else do I have to tell you? Um, I know Suzette is going to ask me if I went for any bike rides. I did not. We have not had, I've not been on the Harley um, because... It's been a busy week. I guess that's all I can say. And it was kind of cold this week in Wisconsin. And Jill, I'm glad you're in Green Bay instead of Virginia. That's awesome. Um, let's see. Big, big news. Haley got a job. 
like she has a summer job that she's done for like five years in the summer. She's a lead at um, the local YMCA day camp. But she got a real big girl job. She is going to, she accepted a position with the Appleton School District, which we've heard is a really great school district in this area to work for. And um, we're super excited about that because now she doesn't have to be so anxious. She was like feeling like, oh my gosh, all my other friends from college have jobs, not her teacher friends. Um, and she's like, I don't have a job. So she's pretty excited. She doesn't know what grade she is going to, um, yeah, Carol, hang on. <laughs> she doesn't know what grade she's going to teach yet or which Appleton school she's going to be at, but she should find that information out by August, we hope. So she is on top of the world, super, super excited. And yes, Carol sees this pile of stamps sitting over here. I told you I have... I had two big boxes come in in my order from the new catalog because, well, I do go a little crazy. And I've got some new stuff to show you. So I think I'm done with my announcements. Oh, I have to, I have a confession. Well, actually two of them. Um, my first confession is I did not get my room cleaned. <laughs> so who is it that their husband listens to me while you're watching this? And when I said I was going to clean my room, he laughed. Well, there you go. I did not clean my room. I was super busy this week. And being gone two days, that's kind of hard, too. Um, oh, Michael, to contact you if she needs any classroom ideas, I will do that. Thank you. Um, what else? Oh, and I broke my phone screen for the second time. Yay me. So I finally broke down and bought an OtterBox um, phone case thingy. And the reason why I didn't have an OtterBox is because they're just not cute. And a cute phone case is very important to me. But I did find kind of a cute one. So $180 later and I have a new screen on my phone. Second time, folks. Yeah. Um, anyways, um, so I did that confession. My other confession is, what are y'all drinking tonight? I know that you're going to be shocked, but this is Pepsi. I was getting super tired late this afternoon. I know, I'm naughty. And I wanted to go take a nap, but I really didn't have time. I needed to jump in the shower so I didn't look like, you know, I just got up. <laughs> so I have a Pepsi here and I love it with all of my heart. It is all the goodness in the world right here in this cup. So I've been having like one Pepsi a day, maybe every other day when I need a little boost and um, I'm still good. I'm still down 11 pounds. So, you know, I'm an addict. What can I say? All right. I've got some cool techniques for you tonight. I've got a fun fold. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you, should I show you the new stuff that I bought now? Or, I know, Suzette, I'm weak. Um, Suzette says, no, no, no soda. And I'm like, yeah, I'm weak. I know. Um, should I show you the new stuff now? Or should I wait till the end? What do you think? I should probably get this up live on my screen. So, I'm watching my phone right now. But as soon as I turn it around, I'm not going to be able to see what you guys are telling me. Oh, there I am. Coke Zero, water. Thanks, Shelby. Yeah, 11 pounds is good, right? It's going slowly, but um, I'm making steady progress, and I think that's what's important. We're going to be going to Florida in next week? Yeah. <laughs> I had hoped to lose a little bit more weight before then, but... Yeah, whatever, right? You get all gung-ho at the beginning, and now it's like, bleh. <laughs> okay, so Sierra wants to see the new stuff. Hi, Dan Trout. Welcome. You're in for a treat tonight. <laughs> um, I've got now. I've got Michael says now. Tammy says after. Suzette says now. Patty Hall. Great. I'm glad you could watch. Michael said please. I think I'm going to go with now. Okay, I'm going to get this phone flipped around. And... Um, for those of you that get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I will tell you when to um, open them. Hi, Nikki Schmidt. 
that's my cousin watching. I'm going to tell you when to open um, your eyes so you don't get motion sickness, okay? And I'm going to try to do a little zoom in like we did last time. That worked out pretty good, right? So, okay, hang with me. You're going to see the ceiling. And it's a little warm in my room, so I have my ceiling fan going. Okay, I'm going to set you down on the table for a sec. Hang tight. I'm going to get my phone thing adjusted here. My holder dealy whopper. Okay. 111, 112 viewing right now. Awesome. Now, earlier when I was trying to do this, this is a new case on my phone, and it um, it popped right out of this holder, so I hope that doesn't happen tonight. Here's the hostess code, you guys. If you're placing online orders and your order's under $150, please use this code. Um, I would also like to welcome, what is Sue's last name? Sue Besaw. I hope you're watching tonight, and Lori um, Eidenberger. Both of them joined my team yesterday as discount shoppers. So, you guys, if you would like to get a discount um, on your Stampin' Up! products, you get a 20% discount. It's awesome. Oh, you can open your eyes now. Sorry. And um, get a 20% discount and be on my team. There's a lot of really great perks that go along with that. So, give it, give it some thought. Oh, yeah. Thank you for telling me to plug in my phone. I kind of put my cord right across my laptop again, so hopefully I wouldn't forget. Um, but yeah, you guys, if, if you're a stamper, you should be getting a discount. So um, our starter kit is only $99. You get $125 worth of product of your choice. And you get me. And that's fabulous. <laughs> okay, are you ready? All right. I ordered all the ribbon because here's my deal. It seems kind of excessive and it's, you know, it's kind of pricey. But here's the deal with ribbon. Isn't this gorgeous? This is all ruffled ribbon in our old in colors. So we've got fresh fig, berry burst, lemon lime twist, tranquil tide, and what's that? Um, can't remember. Powder pink. There we go. So these are absolutely gorgeous. And when I do my first order of the year, um, or I should say the new catalog, I do a big order on stuff like this. I spend a lot on these types of things. And the reason is, is because I'm not, I know this is going to be shocking too, I'm not really organized. I'm not that organized. And so I need stuff at the last minute a lot. Like today, I didn't get done to like, five o'clock making the cards for tonight. And that's just how I roll and I've accepted it because that is who I am. So I tend to order all the ribbons because you never know when I, I can't go like, oh, you know what? I think I wanna make a card with this ribbon. So I'll order that on my next order and it'll be here within the next two weeks. Yeah, that's not how I operate. So then I've got all this gorgeous ribbon. Ooh, I really like this. The metallic ribbon combo pack, mm, delicious. And this one is the Tea Room Ribbon Combo Pack. And that's got like copper edges on it, I think. It looks like copper to me. And then we've got some um, gold cording. So that's cool. Ooh, look at this pretty stuff. What is this? Mini Striped Ribbon. This is a, our gorgeous grape mini striped ribbon. Isn't that pretty? And then... Ooh, I like this. This is, must be Granny Apple Red or Green. I always want to call it Granny Apple Red, but it's Granny Apple Green. And this is the Textured Weave Ribbon. That's got white edges on it. That's really pretty. And then I got some of the eighth inch Blueberry Buckle. It's really Blueberry Bushel, but I'm going with Buckle. And I love this new metallic thread. This is the um, Rose Colored Metallic Thread. I'm going to have fun with that. And then the silver and pool party baker's twine. Oh, I got a pink one I ordered too, but I didn't grab it out of the box. So there's pool party and then there's a pink one too that's got a silver in it. You guys are loving this, aren't you? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, then I've got the basic black satin ribbon. So we got black satin ribbon again. And this is, looks like five-eighths of an inch. Nope, half inch. 
And here's some more of the mini striped ribbon. And this is in Poppy Parade. I love Poppy Parade. It's just so bright and colorful. Here comes um, a gray. This is gray granite. Am I right? Gray granite? Yep, I'm right. It's going to take me a while to get used to all these new colors. But this is also the textured weave ribbon like the green ribbon. So there we go. We got both of those. And then, oh, I'm going to show you guys that because that's pretty funky. Here's the Bermuda Bay mini striped ribbon. And then here's some more of that eighth inch. This looks like Call Me Clover. Yep, that was right. Okay, you guys ever have trouble opening up these ribbon things? Here's a great tip my friend Barb taught me. You just take your ribbon thing and push that up. So I'm just pushing it up like that, and then you can fit your scissors right in there to get that wrapper off. You guys, look at this. This is so fun. Well, let me see if I can find the end. Here we go. Look at this. Ha! Ah, it's leaves. It's so cool. I love, love, love this. I can't wait to play with this. I still have most of my stuff. Well, I took the stamp sets out and all this ribbon, but I still have two boxes sitting out in my hallway because my room is such a disaster. I can't even get anything in here anymore. Um, but why did I tell you that? I still got all my stuff sitting out there. Mm, I don't know why I started telling you that. Probably because my room's such a disaster. I can't get anything in here. Here are the colored doilies. Look at these. These are so pretty. And they're white on the back. So if you don't want them to be Old Olive, Coastal Cabana. I don't know. This looks like Flirty Flamingo or Calypso Coral. I don't know if those are really the colors. You can make them whatever color you want on the back. And these are like our white ones that we had in... Um, Maybe the holiday mini catalog last year. I loved those. They were so pretty. So there we go. I got a whole bunch of these. So we'll be using these in card buffets and stamp clubs soon. And then check out these beauties. Petal pink rhinestone gems in a bunch of different shapes. And of course, they're self-adhesive. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, how do you glue these doilies down, Elaine? Well, um, hang on a second. You remember my little pour some liquid glue on here and use a sponge and then put that on the back? That's how I um, would glue them down. Or you can simply glue them to the back of a layer and, you know, just put glue right on them and glue them to the back of a circle and then put them on your card with dimensionals. But yeah, this is the great, the greatest way ever to glue down stuff like this because it works really good. All right, so that's all my little goodies to show you for ribbon and um, little embellishing, embellishment thingies. Who wants to see my new stamp sets? Because Carol Fox, Canoop, <laughs> um, she saw my pile laying back here. Let me show you. How's this looking? I'm off the screen so that I can see what's going on. Let me put this in a full screen mode here. Yeah, that doesn't really help. Okay, so here is the letter board messages. Now, a lot of these come with framelit sets and I've already put those in my basket. So you'll just, you'll see those when I start using these for Facebook Lives or my videos. Um, I don't know what it was about this stamp set, but I just really, really liked it. It's frames and different patterns to go in the frames. And all these little greetings. There's even some little flowers in here. A star flower, a heart. Here's some flowers and leaves and those little sparkly deal things. I don't know what you call them. But um, I like the sayings. Your sparkle has not gone unnoticed. Not to spoil the ending, but everything is going to be okay. Just miss you. That's all. Seven billion smiles and yours is the sweetest. I just really liked this. And I saw a lot of potential in this kind of a plain Jane little stamp set. So I'm excited to use this. Then pop of petals. Here's some fun, gorgeous flowers. And look at this. I didn't even notice that. This is a butterfly. Hello. Um, this comes with a punch. So there's the pop of petals and then the matching punch that's with this. And then we've got a big thank you. 
and I make more thank you cards than anything else because um, I and I and I apologize for those of you that have placed orders with me recently I am behind on my thank you cards so I need to get my button gear I will be creating some beautiful thank you cards with these I like all these little elements in here too that makes makes it fun right okay and then <laughs> Best bunny, you guys. We have a matching bunny punch. I am going to thoroughly enjoy this, and I can't wait to see what some of my demonstrator friends are making with this because it just looks stinking adorable. So you're building a bunny. So we have a bunny builder punch, too. Thank you, Linda. I love the letterboard messages, too. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun. This was one of my must-have-it-right-now beautiful promenade. And um, this, I think this goes with a whole bundle, but there's some great greetings in here. You can see the funky fonts. You guys know I'm a font girl. I love funky fonts and I love, love, loved this flower. These are just beautiful. I have I, just so much potential right here. And then this one, I just thought it was fun. I love this giant happy birthday and this little girl who's like throwing flowers all over. Just have the best day ever. And these are pretty big stamps. So like, look how big that happy birthday is. I love this. And then birthday backgrounds. Again, I love the images here. These are so fun and even though, you know, you need these kind of stamp sets and these kind of stamp sets, these kind of stamp sets are really nice to have to fill in those backgrounds. I absolutely love that. Okay, you want to see the next stack? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I have a problem. I've admitted it. It's not just Pepsi. Um, here we have uh, Bokeh Blooms. And I think this goes with a set of framelits that does like a trifold um, card with some flower images sticking out on the edge. And that's why I bought this because it went with the framelits and I thought it was super cool, I, if I remember correctly. Then we have Floral Frames. This has a set of framelits and I just thought it was beautiful. And again, we've got some funky fonts here and you know, I'm a sucker, I love them. Treat Time is also a bundle. This has the little sour cream container um, set of framelits and all these great greetings. And, you know, get well soon. I, I need to, I will make a bunch of those up and just have them ready so that when I find out when somebody's not well or they just had surgery or whatever, I can get that out in the mail right away. This this one was the top of my list. I thought it was that other one, which is beautiful, but this is the one I had to have. Number one, I don't have a good get well greeting, and this caught my eye immediately. Sending you healing vibes, love that. Wishing you a quick and complete recovery. If hugs and kisses could cure, you'd be immune to everything. Feel better soon. And this delicious flower and these leaves. This is our distinctive... Um, um, rubber technique that they make this with. Remember the, what was it called? Heartfelt Blooms that was in the Celebration brochure that was that distinctive flower. This is another one of those and these leaves are too, so they look real and I, I just wanna kiss it. I'm so in love with this whole stamp set. I absolutely love it. You, lots of things coming with that. Seasoned with kindness. I just thought this was cute. This is a little can. So you've got a little can that you can put all these plants in and these flowers. And it's got these cutie patootie little tags. And again, some funky fonts. I just thought it was adorable. <gasps> Gallery Grunge. Another, like the birthday backgrounds. Gallery Grunge is one of those must-haves for your backgrounds. And it's got that kind of shabby chic look. I love it. Okay, um, Friendly Expressions, again, who doesn't love this font? I love this font. I think these are so pretty. And um, I need, you know, new greetings. A lot of my greetings retired, so I had to replace. Oh, and this is, this must be one of two. This is a big thank you. Did I get two of those? Ah! Yep, I did. I got two of them. So, guess what? One of these is going to be going out as a prize. <laughs> Lucky you guys. Woohoo! So there we go. Those are all my stamp sets. 
let me set these aside so I don't tip them all over and have a disaster here. Okay, who's ready to stamp? I think I'm ready to stamp. I'm excited. So I've got this cool technique. It's an oldie, it's not a new technique, but it's kind of making a comeback right now. And um, I was having a lot of fun with it today. I'm excited that I got the ink off of my fingers so that I didn't look like a complete disaster for you. And then I've got a bunch of cards that I'm gonna show you. I'm using the Animal Outing stamp set, and then I didn't realize it, but the Animal Friends Thinlets, this was a pre-order. Well, I actually got this at On Stage in Milwaukee. And then I ordered this with my last, um, my new catalog demonstrator order, but I didn't realize I had it. So I thought I forgot it. So I'm glad I went through the box because I have another order going in tonight. And uh, I don't want to be double ordering a bunch of stuff. But that is good for you guys. Yes, Janet. The Healing Hug stamp set is fabulous. Oh, and look at this. Look at all these fun little patterns in here with the Animal Outing Animal Friends Thin Lids. This is going to be, I'm going to have a blast with this. I think this stamp set is just stinking adorable. And it's not just about kids or babies because, well, just wait. I'll show you. I'll show you what's going on here with this one. All right. We are going to bring in our card. Whoops. Hang on. Card stack layers here. Oh, I don't think this is the first one I'm making. This is the second one. So just hang tight. Um, here we go. Here's our card stack layers. This is the first one. Okay, we are using basic gray, and whoops, 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 things are falling. Hang on, nobody's getting hurt. <laughs> and here we go, here's all of our stuff. Now, I am going to, this is um, four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a half here, so I'm just gonna burnish the edge. This is basic gray, and then I've got a piece of Whisper White for the inside. This is four by five and a quarter, and by the way, you guys, I post all of the details and ordering links for the cards that I make in my Sunday Night Facebook Live on my blog on Tuesdays. So Tuesday, 6.30 a.m. Central Time, you will be able to find all the details for these. Um, so you don't need to write down dimensions unless you're going to sit down and make something that I'm showing you tonight. Then we've got a piece of smoky slate, and this is three and a half by four and an eighth. A piece of whisper white that is three and three eighths by four, and then just a this is just kind of a scrap piece that's three and an eighth by three and an eighth. So, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you my technique, and I am going to need. Oh, I'm going to use this piece of cardstock right here. This is a four by five and a quarter. And then I'm bringing in marbles. Yes, I said marbles. So I went down in my basement where I have a bunch of stamping crafty type stuff. Not really stamping stuff. My stamping stuff is all up here. But I have some stuff in the basement. And I knew I had a bag of marbles because years ago, this marble background technique was very popular. And um, that's why I have marbles in with my crafting stuff. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to find my pool party reinker because I just put everything away earlier. Now, these are our clear cases. Clear cases come in this size, which is for our clear mount or photopolymer stamps, and then they come in this size, which is for our wood mount stamps. You can buy these cases empty. You get four to a pack, and they're relatively inexpensive. I don't remember how much they cost, but I'm using the wood case size, and I am going to take my pool party reinker, and I'm going to put in Five dots of ink. Got some good tips for you on this too, because as I was playing around today, I had some things that didn't go so well. 
and you're just going to roll these all around. Now, I have a funny story, because this is kind of loud. My husband was in the living room earlier today, and he was trying to take a nap. And I'm in here doing this, and he's like, quiet down in there, what are you doing? I'm like, go upstairs, I am busy. <laughs> I am creating things with marbles. So yeah, we had a little, hmm, today. I'm like, if you want to take a nap and you want to sleep and be undisturbed, you go upstairs. There, I was pretty bossy about it too. Okay, <laughs> Robin lost her marbles and I found them. <laughs> Sharon, don't lose your marbles. I'm going to put a little bit of snail adhesive on here, just a touch, and we are going to put this right in the lid of our case. And now we're going to close that, and we're going to put our marbles on there. And you can keep running these around all over the place for as much of a background as you'd like, or you can just do a little bit. And I think I'm going to check this out and see... And I think that looks pretty darn good. Now, you could continue to let the marbles roll around and go crazy to get um, to get more of a background with the pool party. But I think I'm going to stop right there. All right, then let's make our card because this is really, really cute. I just thought this was a great background for the animal outing set. And I just happened to need a baby card because my niece had a baby. So, 179 viewing. Thanks, Michelle. That's awesome. All right, next, I decided I wanted, um, I saw something on Pinterest with a Polaroid. So, it looked like somebody took a Polaroid. So, I'm going to take this um, piece, and this is our, let's see, three and three eighths by four inch piece. And I'm going to put my square in here from the layering squares, framelits. I'm going to bring in my big shot. And we are going to cut this out. So I shouldn't position it when it's on the table because once I bring it up here and put it on the magnetic plate, that's where I should be positioning it. Am I still in the screen here? I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna make sure that this is even on the top and the left and the right. Oops, it doesn't look too even, does it? It's kind of hard when there's shadows in here. Okay, that looks pretty good. There we go. Hi, Donna from Michigan. Shelby, you've never seen the marble technique? That really makes me happy because I really like to show you guys some stuff that's new. It's a technique that's been around for a very, very long time. Okay, so we can use this little square for something else. Right now, all we need is this. And I'm going to bring in one of my stamping mats here. And where's my stamps? Right here. Here we go. All right, now... I'm going to use Memento ink, um, and now I'm going to take this other little square. Now, this square is a little bit bigger than the hole here, and that's on purpose so we can attach it to the back. I'm going to stamp this stinking adorable little rhinoceros on here with Memento ink. <gasps> Perfect! And look at the detail on that. I just think this is so, so cool. These animals are just so darn cute. And then there's a leaf with a frog on the end, some leaves, like some branches with a frog. But I just want the branches. I don't want the frog in there. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna let that dry for just a second. And while that's, whoops, I still need this. While that's happening, I'm gonna stamp my words on here. Now we've got our welcome. And I'm going to stick my head in for a second because I want to get this straight. Okay, I did pretty good. And then there's this little, I didn't even notice this, but there's this little line with the little like petals, um, leaf petals or whatever right there. I'm using that image next. And, whoops, my little petals didn't do so good. Let's try that again. That's why there's two sides, right? Welcome. This is really dainty, so you 
have to be careful when you stamp it that you don't push it really hard like that or it will look just crummy. There we go. I did it. Yay me. Winning. And then little one. Yay. I did it. Okay. <laughs> That's the little things in life that make me super happy. All right. So we've got our Polaroid here. Next, I'm going to take the um, Stampin' Blends, and I'm super happy. These are available to order again. I couldn't be more excited about that because I've been trying not to use them in my videos while they were unorderable because how frustrating is that? Like, I'm showing you stuff that you should be able to buy if you want it, but oh, you can't buy that. So I wasn't using them while they weren't orderable. Stampin' Up! sold too many of them, ran right out. Because we are a great sales force, right? <laughs> exactly. So I am using um, the Dark Daffodil Delight, the Dark Pool Party, and now this is the Light Old Olive. And then I, I'm gonna show you too. I colored one of these in earlier today using markers, like regular stamp and write markers. Did you see what I just did? I went right out of the lines. This is the color lifter. And if you use it right away when you make a boo-boo like that, it will erase it like magic. Haley, you want me zoomed in more? Should I try that? I'm gonna unplug my phone here for a second, you guys. I'm gonna try to zoom in just a little bit. Not letting me. Bah! Hang on. You know, this is so tricky. I can't get zoomed in, hon. Sorry, you guys. It's a That's a really tricky thing to do when you're live. And I don't want to cut off my live feed. You know what I could do, though? I could bring my, um, I could bring my stand down a little bit. Hang on. Maybe if I can get it loosened up. Oh, I think I need a pliers. I've got it so tight. Hang on. Nope, it's not moving. We're gonna have to be good. Hi Haley, I told everybody you got a job, a big girl job, yay you. Okay, next I'm gonna take and I'm going to just bring my old olive right across the bottom here for the grass. And then I kinda just went up like that a little bit. Maybe some little grass there. And I'm just going to color this whole thing. And the one thing that I love about the alcohol markers is that once they dry, you don't see all these scribble lines like you would with regular markers. Right up in there. Because they blend. It's all blendy. Yay! All right, next. Our rhinoceros. So I'm going to use the little end. I'm using the light smoky slate here. I'm going to use the little end to do his ears because, you know, rhinoceros ears are really tiny. And then when I was practicing today, I always got gray in the horn. You don't want gray in the horn. So right around here. And his little tail, which is so cute. It's so funny that rhinoceroses are such giant animals, but they have this teeny weeny little tail. It's pretty weird. Okay, and we're ready to just color in our guy. Now, I just made another boo-boo. I'm good at those. Right here, and I am going to erase it with the color lifter. I see that? It was right there. I just erased it. Like magic! Hi, Nikki Schmidt. How are you? Nikki is my cousin. And here we go. Now, this rhinoceros, the stamp has it all detailed, and the darker areas is where the shading would be on a rhinoceros. We really don't have to do much here because it's just already shaded. Now, let me see. Yep. Okay, you guys. Check this out. Look at the difference between these two. Is this on the screen? I hope it is. 
This is done with just regular Stampin' Write markers. And this is done with the Stampin' Blends, the alcohol markers. Always go with the alcohol markers. This looks like scribbly and icky. See how that grass blended down there? Oh, love, love, love the Stampin' Blends. All right, next, I forgot to do the branches. Let me just give those some green here. Okay, then I decided I wanted the sky blue. I thought, how the heck am I going to do that? So I tried using an aqua painter, but this isn't watercolor paper. So aqua painters um, on Whisper White, you can't blend a lot. So it ended up getting pilly and it didn't look so great. Um, so I took and I stamped my rhino on a post-it note. And I'm going to bring that, I cut it out, cut out my post-it note. It's a little sticky right here at the top. I'm going to bring my little post-it note in here. And I'm going to put it right down over my rhinoceros. Now, a couple things. I did not cut out that tail. It's not going to matter. And I did not cut out the little feathery things on the bird. Just the bird body and the beak. Because that's just too much to ask of anybody. I'm not going to do it. You don't have to either but I'm bringing in balmy blue and I like to do this first. I've inked it up and then I do this because I don't want those blobs of color that come when it's just freshly um, tapped in the ink. I want it to be a little more blended and I use a really light hand. So I'm not pushing very hard on this and my little ear doesn't want to lay down there. So I'm just kind of making sure I don't twist it backwards. Okay, I'm going to do this again and get rid of that blob of color because I want this to be very muted. I don't want blobs of color in my background for my sky. There we go. Are we ready to see the magic here? Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, I just love him. Okay, let's finish our card up. We're so close. Put this away and this away. And I'm gonna put this, now I've already cut this out once. I don't wanna do it again. So I just keep it in the case of my stamp case so that I can use it next time I need to mask my little rhinoceros. Okay, here we go. And I'm just going to take this, put it right in here. And I'm just using regular tape always have that handy right on my desk here. Okay, and then we're gonna adhere it to this gray layer. And this is how it looks like a Polaroid. And some of you, I think they have Polaroid cameras now again, because I'm thinking some of you might not even remember what a Polaroid is. Masking is wonderful, I love it. <clears throat> Okay, then we're going to do dimensionals because we can. Why not? Everything looks better popped up, doesn't it? You guys know the little trick about sticking your fingernail in the middle helps p the edges kind of pop up for you to grab them and take them off of dimensionals. I haven't shown that in a long time, but it's something that we learned at a convention many years ago. That's why going to Stampin' Up! conventions are fabulous because you get such awesome, awesome training. But that was like an aha moment. We gasped when somebody told us that little trick. Okay, and one more thing. It, it just wasn't complete. Actually, two more things. So we've got this Nature's Twine comes in mint macaron, fresh fig, or rich, um, no, blackberry bliss, grapefruit grove, and tan, crumb cake. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take some of this and tie it around my card because I think it looked great that way. I'm just gonna tie it in a knot down here. Now this is for um, a baby boy. So this is a perfect little card. If it were for a girl, I might add some pinks in there someplace. But we need to keep it masculine for a little boy. Okay, and now I really like this twine. 
because it unravels really easy and I want it to be unraveled. Now you could use yours, leave yours raveled if you don't want it to be unraveled. You can leave it alone, but I wanted mine to be like this. Yay! Oops, hang on, I think I just loosened it up. There we go. Okay, isn't that stinking cute? Oh, one more thing. <laughs> hang tight. Now, here we go. Oops, what is that piece? I hope that's not something. Okay, so we have these brand new basic adhesive backed sequins. These are in the new catalog. Super, super excited. They come in white. And, I don't know, kind of a um, vanilla-y color. And then we've got kind of a peachy color. And then this iridescent pink and green color, which is really cute. And then kind of a flat green color. And I'm going to use the flat green ones. And I'm going to grab my little pokey tool here. And I'm going to put some sequins on here just because I think there was just one more thing, just that one last thing that I needed to add here. And this was it. And then, here's the front of our card. Let me show you the inside. Um, I used, let's see, where's that stamp set? I used the special celebrations for the congratulations. So any congratulations, greetings will work. Then I stamped my giraffe and my leaves up here to decorate that inside. Isn't this just the cutest little card ever? Okay, any questions? I know I'm just blabbing along here. I gotta make sure I'm looking at my questions. And then I also stamped my envelope. Now, a little tip about um, using stamp and blend markers on your envelopes. Remember that the Stampin' Blend marker will bleed through. Oh, I don't have any samples here. To it will bleed through. It bleeds through to the back side. So of course you don't want your your what you're stamping to bleed through to the back side. So I've just got a scrap of Whisper White. Well, this isn't Whisper White. It's crummy white cardstock that I had for doing junk like this. And um, now I'm going to come in with my bronze. Stamp and blend, and I'm going to finish coloring my giraffe. And this will keep your alcohol marker from bleeding through your envelope. There we go. So there's our envelope to go with our stinking, adorable little welcome little one card. Isn't that just sweet? And Barbara says she found out about the bleeding through the hard way. Yeah, I'm lucky I thought about it today because I would have been bleeding through too if I hadn't gone, hmm, oh yeah, that's not going to work back here. That's not going to look so nice when it goes to the back side. Okay, so there's one of our marble background technique cards. So this is just what I did with that marbled layer, right? It's made it super duper cute. Then, let's see, I've got another card here that I pulled out earlier before, but did not. Hang on, i got to keep myself straight here, or I will go bazonkers. Okay. Um, here comes my layers. So, <clears throat> excuse me, everybody take a drink. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is like nectar of the gods. Um, if you joined us late, I'm drinking Pepsi. I know I shouldn't be, but it is what it is. I have the beautiful new Melody Mango Melody cardstock here. Hang on, let me get some of this stuff out of the way because I need room to work, right? Get some of these out of the way, and I'll put these away. So I am going to, let's see. This is our front layer. Um, I am going to get another case and we're going to do another marble background. I use about five marbles, you guys. However many marbles you want to use, well, you know, it'll work, but five seems to be a good number. And then I'm going to drop in some Mango Melody. One, two, three. That should be good. You don't need to use a lot. So 
make sure when you're buying stamp pads that you are also getting reinkers. You should always have reinkers to go with your ink pads. Once in a while, not very often, I will open up an ink pad to use it and it's not as juicy as I need it to be and I can always re-ink it. But if you don't get the reinkers, you're out of luck and nothing would make me madder than to not be able to use that ink pad that I just had my eye on because it's, you know, the project is going to be amazing and you know how it goes. Okay. Now Sharon's telling me that I'm so smart. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. I try to tell myself that all the time. <laughs> and everybody should, you know. No, tell yourself, not me, that you're so smart. I do. I'll sit at my desk and I'll say stuff like, oh my gosh, that's genius. Oh, I already used this one. Hang on. I need a new piece of cardstock here. And what did I say that one was? Three and... Oh, I didn't tell you. So hang on. White. Five by three and three quarters. Our white is five by three and three quarters. Five by three and three quarters. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of snail in there so I can attach it to the top here. Close it. Let the magic happen. I know this is kind of loud. But it's also fun. There we go. Look at that. Very cool. Now, let me close up all these dirty marbles. Oh, so what do you do now? You've made a mess. Your marbles are colored. You've got ink all over. You just take these and rinse them in the sink. Literally, you don't have to wipe them. You just rinse them right out. They are fabulous. Okay. Um, I've got soft suede here. This is five, five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And my Mango Melody card base. And then... I'll show you what I'm doing with the rest of this. I've got a little piece of our copper trim. This is so fun because you can, you know, finagle it around. It's almost like wire, but it's real soft. It's not wire. I don't know. It's very weird, but I love it. And then... Is this the piece that I found before that I needed? Um, yeah, hello. Okay, this is the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper. So that's that real pretty flowery abstract looking um, six by six packs. This is one of the sides of it. So I'm going to attach this. And this piece is three quarters by three and three quarters. I'm just gonna attach this to a seven eighths by three and three quarters inch piece of soft suede. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty darn good. Don't attach anything yet because if this is too big, it's easier to cut it before you glue it onto this layer, right? So be mindful of that. Sometimes I forget, but most of the time I don't glue stuff together until I know that I am done with it. And I told you guys that I need mainly thank you cards, right? Here, I'm going to get my... Is there somebody in my swimming pool? No. There must be somebody over at the neighbor's house. I'm like, who's out there? Somebody's out there hollering. They're having fun. So that's great. <laughs> I'm having more fun in here with you guys, though, I'm sure. Okay. There we go. Got that done. Then we're going to do this. Glue this right on here. Oh my gosh, isn't this pretty? I love, love, love this color. Super, super fun. And then, look at this. I stamped the giraffe, and thank you big time, and some of the leaves on a stitched shapes framelit, the circle one. And then I used my layering circles for an oval soft suede layer. Put that on here. We're going to grab out some dimensionals again. And add our cute little giraffe. 
And then I need a mini glue dot. Just right here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to do nothing with it because I cut it too short. So, we're gonna just try this again. I knew I shouldn't have cut it ahead of time. <laughs> Silly me. I'm going to tie this in a knot. There we go. And then I just heard my husband come in the house. He usually goes out in the garage and watches sports or something while I'm doing this. But I just heard him come in the house. He's been so busy. He's been working on the fence, getting the fence up between the house and the drive, or the house and the garage from our new cement. And now he did something to his foot where his ankle's swollen up and ugh. poor guy. He's just literally like falling apart. Okay, here comes a little, I just took a mini glue dot there and I'm going to put this little bronze bow right there. Isn't that adorable? Now I don't know what I'm going to do for the inside, but I'll figure something out. There you go. There's another just the background of the marbles in there. What do you guys think? I've got some more to show you. I did a bunch of color combinations. I think I think I'm done with this set now. Let me see. Where's my color combinations? Yep, here they are. All right. Oh, <laughs> I do have an inside. I stamped the the little branch with the frog. I colored my leaves in with light old olive and my frog with dark old olive. And then I used the bronze stamp and blend marker for the trees. And you see how it bleeds through? That's what I was talking about before, that you put that little insert in your envelope so you don't get that bleed through. I forgot that I did this. Did that a little bit ahead of time for ya. Here we go. Isn't that sweet? Very cute. Stamp up an envelope to match. We got a winner. I may need to add this to the class. They will love it. Oh, good for you, Rachel. I think it's a great idea. It, like, it's easy. It's super, super easy. I might do this for my workshop on Wednesday, too. I don't know. I haven't figured out what I'm doing for that yet. I told you how I roll, right? <laughs> Last minute. Oh, now I'm going to show you a bunch of samples made with the animal outing stamp set. So there's the two that I just made. Here's another one. I thought this was super cute. And this is the Share What You Love designer series paper, I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty. Is there anything inside there? Nope, just a little giraffe. These are swap cards that I've gotten. Here's another thank you big time. And not only for your thoughtful gift, but also for the wonderful gift of knowing you. Here's another one that used that same paper. And again, this is a baby card. This is a really cool one. Yay! This is one of our new designer series papers. I think this might be the Nature's Poem. I don't remember for sure. I think Susie Wood made this card. She's a friend of mine. She does beautiful work. And this was a swap card I got from Kara Lee, Crab. And um, she used these three little animals in here and a happy birthday. Here's another one. And we don't have anything on the inside there. I like the little rhinestones here, that's pretty. And this one was one of my faves. Look at that, oh and there's that paper again, that designer paper. wild about you. Okay, so we've got great, great cards using this animal outing set. And again, it's not just about babies. It's about thank you, um, birthdays. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. And then, let's see. I wanted to show you some more color combinations that I did and some boo-boos so you will know what not to do. So here is... Um, this was crushed curry. Now I use mango melody here and it's a little more orange, but this was crushed curry. And this one I just rolled my, um, rolled my, um, marbles around. I'm losing my marbles, obviously. <laughs> 
I rolled my marbles around um, a little bit more so it's kind of filled up the background more. This one I used Pool Party and Mint Macaron. And again, I just made it a little busier by just keep rolling those marbles around. I decided I wanted um, a Granny Apple Green and Gorgeous Grape, and I made this one. I put the same reinkers, like I dropped Gorgeous Grape and Granny Apple Green in the same case and rolled the marbles around. This is not attractive. If you can see that, it kind of turned brown, which I didn't think was very pretty. So then I took two cases and I put Gorgeous Grape in one and rolled my layer around in there. And then I took another case and put Granny Apple Green and put my layer in there and rolled it around. Now you have definite green and purple here. And um, I think, I, oh, I'm using this on another card that we're going to make next with a whole different bundle of product. But yeah, this was not a good color combination because it just kind of turned brown and ugly. Okay, then one more I did was I did Daffodil Delight and Real Red and I, um, again, put them both, no, I put them in two separate cases and did them. I think I threw away the one where I put them both in the same case and they just looked orange. So the colors, you know, they blend together and they make orange and it just wasn't, um, didn't really do what I wanted it to do. Okay, so those are our marble technique backgrounds here. And you know, any color combination that you want is gonna be pretty cool, but I really found that it worked better if you did not put two different colors in the same case. I've seen people do it but you're gonna hit and miss, you're gonna miss a lot on it. You know, it's hit and miss whether you come out with something that you like, but I think it's gonna be more miss than hit. So just do two different cases. And Patricia has never seen this before either. I'm so excited. That's awesome, I love that I'm showing you something new. Okay, next. Let's see, where's my other case here? Here we go. I've got samples to show you using this bundle again. We're gonna use the Sea of Textures and Under the Sea Framelit dies. And this one is super, super fun. So how many of you have put in your order for the uh, chamois? Like, I've been, I've, there's been a lot of those ordered on my store lately. And um, yeah. It's pretty hot. I love, love, love it. Okay, hang on. I gotta put this on here so I don't forget what I'm doing. All right. We are going to use <gasps> Granny Apple Green. This is a really, really vibrant color. Let me pull out a piece of Lemon Lime Twist so I can show you the difference. This is Lemon Lime. This is Granny Apple Green. A very vibrant, pretty color. Becky loves the chamois. Becky, I love the chamois too. So I've got a card base here that is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just gonna fold it in half and burnish that edge if I can find my bone folder. There we go. I've got a scrap of Whisper White. Where's my little cheat note? Oh, you guys. I don't have my cheat sheet. That tells me what all these dimensions are. Ugh. Well, that's frustrating. I probably forgot to write it up. Yep, I did, I think I did. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going here. I've got a white layer, a gorgeous grape layer, granny apple green layer, and a backup white layer in case I mess up. <laughs> yeah, that's how I roll. Okay, let me tell you some dimensions on these. This white layer is four, by three. This one is going to be four and a quarter by three and a quarter, and this one is going to be four and a half by three and a half. So there you go. It's all a quarter inch bigger. And I am going to just glue these two together right now because we can. And aren't these just like, wow. Oops, I lied. These are eighth inch. 
So our green is three and an eighth by four and an eighth. And then the next one is going to be three and a quarter, the purple by four and a quarter. So I just did eighth inch. Um, I missed what Shelby said. Becky says, I tried Shelby, didn't work the same at all. Yeah, these are vibrant, aren't they? I love these, Diane. Okay, we are going to, where's my, here we go. Bring this in, we're gonna set this aside. We'll bring this in. We are going to do a little color, like um, blending, I guess is a good way to put it. We're using Gorgeous Scrape and Granny Apple Green. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to ink up the lower part of my octopus with Granny Apple Green, just like that. Then I'm gonna come in with the Gorgeous Scrape and I'm gonna do the top half. Now, notice that I'm not like going gonzos trying to get these uh, overlapped because I don't wanna get green in my purple or purple in my green, but this is a way that you can do it. I'm gonna take a sponge dauber, this is dry now, and I'm just going to blend those colors. And that's all I did. If you want to, you can dip it in the green and blend a little bit more, but I'm gonna get that purple out of here before I dip it in my green. And this is how I do it. So I'm gonna come in here and just add some green. You don't wanna get purple in your green. Okay, now, because we've been messing around, I'm gonna huff on this like you're cleaning your glasses. Oh, this is Frank, yes. Becky decided to name the octopus Frank, and we're going with it on my team page. We're having fun with it, and yes, this is Frank. I have to remember that. I just huffed on Frank. I'm gonna stamp him right here on my white. Oh my gosh, how cute is he? Okay, next, we are going to take this scrap and I'm gonna use my gorgeous grape again, and this is the one that says I'm one of a kind, or you're one of a kind. You're one of a kind, I'm one of a kind. <laughs> well, I certainly am. <laughs> uh, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> and um, I kind of smeared that a little bit because I was laughing at myself, so let me try it again. There we go. <laughs> I'm one of a kind. Okay, and then we've got, what is this punch called? I can never remember what this is called. Somebody, oh, Robin thinks Frank sounds naughty. Frank Lee, Denise, I like Frank Lee. Becky, are we good with the middle name on our Frank as Lee? I think that's a good middle name. Frank does look good purple and green, doesn't he? Okay, I'm gonna bring in this punch, whatever it's called. Who knows what this is called? I can never remember. Yes, classic label punch. And I'm going to punch out my You're One of a Kind. And then I'm going to bring it back in here. And I am going to do that. Isn't that cute? So now we've got kind of a little arrow thing going one way. Let me snip that little piece off that didn't want to leave. Oh, look, it fell right off. Yay! Then I'm going to do some mini dimensionals on here. You're one of a kind. What's happening on here? Yeah, the word windows retired. That was total sadness, right? We had a good long run with it though, didn't we? Okay, now let me get these ink pads out of the way before I have a complete disaster. Where'd, where'd Frank go? Here's Frank. Frank is right here. Don't worry. We have not lost Frank. All right, then I took a piece of Whisper White and you know, this stamp set is super cute, but the thing that sold me on it, I don't know, I have a thing for sand dollars. I don't know what it is, but um, maybe my dad came home with sand dollars when I was a kid one time, and I just thought they were the coolest things ever, and so it reminds me of him and that and whatever. So I die cut a white sand dollar, and then I also used the netting here, and I die cut some gorgeous grape netting because I think Frank needs a little netting <laughs> in gorgeous grape. Okay, um, here's my ribbon. 
We're using this in our stamp clubs this month, so I said club bin. I have to remember to get this back in my bin for stamp clubs starting tomorrow night. I'm going to glue my white layer right on here. Oops, hang on, it's just a little crooked. There we go. Is it time to drink again? I think it is. <sighs> Michelle, mini dimensionals are awesome. Like, I don't even know how we lived without them. And then, oh, you know what I'm missing? There we go. Okay, I found it, don't worry, don't worry. We are going to use this ombre lemon lime twist ribbon and I need to make sure there's enough room here to tie a bow and I think this will work don't you think it'll work yep okay here we go am I still in my screen I always worry that I'm gonna get off the camera so this is where it would be helpful to have an assistant to tell me when I'm doing something stupid <laughs> Somebody nice, of course, that wouldn't just go, Kelly, you're doing something stupid, but somebody who would be nice about it. <laughs> okay, there's a cute little bow. Now, I'm going to take, whoops, I better cut this off first. I'm going to take my sand dollar, and I got a card from um, Judy Garza. She's one of my Stampin' Up! friends from Texas. And she actually did this with her sand dollar, and I thought, oh, that is stinking adorable. And here we go. So I'm just pulling the bow and the tails up through my sand dollar. Just like that. There we go. <gasps> Isn't that cute? Okay, let's straighten this out so it doesn't look so, you know, ridiculous. There's our sand dollar. And we're going to take this little puppy and we're going to put it on here. It says, you're one of a kind. Just like that. Then I'm going to take some of this netting and I'm just going to cut it just like that because I want it to be kind of down here. And I'm just going to tape it on there and I want just a little bit of it right up here. Just like that. Are you ready for the finale part? This is the Gorgeous Grape in the Granny Apple Green. We're gonna put this right on here. So we're using our marble background here, so that's gonna make it look pretty fancy, right? Oh, I think we're gonna use dimensionals too, because we can. Three, where's my last finger? There we go, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yes, Sharon, you must get Frank and the dies because Frank is pretty spectacular. I'm just going to set this right down on here. Ta da! And now we're going to the Granny Apple card base. Oops, I must have a little clog in my glue here. And holy cow. Holy brightness, Frank. Frank looks awesome, doesn't he? Oh! I love this. I absolutely love it. I think this is just super, super cute. Okay, there is our last marble background using two different colors this time. So I hope you guys give this a try. And, uh, you know, please feel free if you make something. Um, I like to see majority of Stamping Up product used in things posted on my, on this page. But I would love to see what you're making if you're using mostly Stampin' Up. Um, products. Pop a picture on there. Let's see what you do with this marble technique. I think I think it's going to be. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. It's um it's pretty cool. Okay, next. I have more. Don't worry. Let me clean up my mess. I was a busy, busy girl today. I made um. Whenever the kids are here, we always have buttermilk pancakes, homemade buttermilk pancakes, or homemade waffles with real maple syrup because I'm all about, if I don't cook very often, but if I am cooking, it's going to be homemade. 
I eat enough crap other places that I don't need to eat crap at home, right? So, um, I don't know what people have against homemade pancakes. They are the easiest thing in the world to make. And we make them from scratch here. None of that bisquick. Ugh. So, we had bacon and homemade pancakes, buttermilk pancakes yesterday. And we had sausages and buttermilk pancakes today. I almost made waffles, but then oh, I had to get ready for this and I knew it. Waffles are time consuming. I will totally give you that, but I love homemade waffles. All right, we are going to make some, uh, this is the fun fold and I have a couple of them eh, to show you. Hang on, I'm dropping things, but I have to show you this bundle first. This is the Broadway birthday and the Broadway lights framelits bundle. This is the one that the paper pumpkin, which I think you can still order today and get the June one, um, is going to coordinate with this suite of products. And let me show you these little cutie patooties. Oh, there's some black ribbon. That black satin ribbon goes with this bundle. And look at these. These are tiny little self-adhesive gold and silver metal candles. Are those not the cutest thing ever? They are stinking adorable. We're gonna use them on this card that we're making now. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that aside. And then I'll show you, these are the matching framelits. I've cut um, one of each out of here so you can see everything. Look at that, I love this, this little element here. And this frame with the holes poked out of it, this is a party hat, this is, um, the string for the balloon and the balloon. This is a candle with the wick and a cone with the ice cream and then the wish word. And then in the stamp set you have hooray and then polka dots to stamp over that. Wish with polka dots to stamp over it. Some greetings down here. The candle, this will make a great firecracker for, oh, I think I just came up with a 4th of July card. Um, the ice cream, these little elements, the hat, the balloon, and the string. So very, very cute little bundle here. And let me put this back in here. And I'll show you the super cool paper. So this paper uses basic black granite, gray granite, lemon lime twist, lovely lipstick, and whisper white in it. One side of the paper has the colors in it. The other side of the paper. These are all the colors here. The other side of the paper is gold and black and gray. So look at this. Isn't that just beautiful? So I made a card using the colorful side for all the panels on my card on this fun fold and then I just turned the papers over and use this side to make another card. So let's get going. I'll show you how I did that. I'm using Lovely Lipstick ink with Memento Black. Here comes my stamp set. And here we go. We have our card base. Here's my cheat sheet that I didn't have for the last one. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I got too excited. We've got a scrap of lovely lipstick, and then we've got our little layers here, and let's see, oh, this is my card sample, so I know what the heck I'm doing, and we've got this and this and this. All right, we are ready. Okay, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my black, this is four and a quarter by eleven, and where'd my cutter go? Right I am going to score this for our fun fold because you guys know I love fun folds. I love fun folds just as much as I love techniques. Just saying. Okay, we're going to score at one and a half inches. And when I say in my instructions on the long side, I mean the long side is up against here. Okay, so this is one and a half, and then four and a half and seven. That's it. Simple, simple. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, 
this first one gets folded back and then this one gets folded this way. Uh, oh, it gets folded like this. Did that make sense? So this one, then, so this is a valley, this is a mountain valley, just like that. It does look like a 60s sign, doesn't it, Sharon? I agree with you. Where's my bone folder? Right here. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. All right, we have a little bit of stamping to do. And I need my mat thing. I got a new one. Through the mag magic of TV, look how clean this is. Okay. <laughs> of course it is, right? I'm going to use my lovely lipstick, and I'm going to stamp one of these little balloons right here. And then my Memento black ink. I'm gonna come in with the string. Now the string is pretty delicate, so you don't wanna be pushing on it too hard. Here comes my head. Did you see my tongue sticking out? <laughs> my daughter used to do that with, we always called it her pickle. Anytime she was concentrating, her pickle was sticking out. Okay. And then I've got this inside greeting. I'm also going to stamp, oops, not that one. This one that says, let's celebrate you. And I'm also going to stamp that in black right over here. Yay, I did so good. Okay, so this layer, this was pretty easy, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, this layer goes right here. Then we're gonna bring in all these little panels. This one, isn't that pretty on the back? Oh, I had somebody who wouldn't buy Stampin' Up's Designer Series paper because they didn't like that it was double-sided and they had to choose. <laughs> I love it's double-sided because it's almost always color coordinating, which makes it so much easier to design with, doesn't it? Okay, there we go, so look at that, okay. This last piece is going to get the lemon lime stripes, which I thought against the black was pretty fancy. And then, whew, I'm starting to sweat. Um, we have a scrap of the lo lovely lipstick. I'm going to stamp my party hat in black. Ooh, ooh, I have polka dots on there like little polka dot pieces of paper. So let's try that again. There we go. Clean that off. And then, where's my dies? Right here. So we've got the party hat. Die cut that. And then we're also going to take a piece of, a. you want a scrap of black and you're gonna die cut this. So. Through the magic of TV, I have already done that. Here's our little hat. Here's that little frame thing. This is the center of the frame thing. And here's what we're gonna do. I took this and I laid it on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I grabbed one of my handy dandy little mechanical pencils here and I traced it. And then I cut that out just inside this line to come up with this little piece. Okay, this is the piece we're gonna stamp on. Don't throw this away, because we're gonna use that too. I'm going to stamp this hooray in lovely lipstick right in kind of the middle of this banner sign. It's like a Las Vegas sign, don't you think? I think it looks like a Las Vegas sign. And then here's the hooray in polka dots that we're going to stamp right over top. Oops. Hang on, here comes my head again. And maybe my tongue sticking out. <laughs> and that just puts those little polka dots in there. That makes it look like, like, you know, one of those neon signs that does all the great stuff. Yes, Sharon, you know what? You are absolutely right. We do not sweat. I have always said that. I don't know why I keep saying sweat lately, but I do glisten. 
like a queen. <laughs> I've got It's Your Birthday. I'm going to stamp that in black and I'm going to put that right down there. Perfect. Winning. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take and add some glue dots to the back of this piece. Now you don't want to put too much glue on it because you don't want that oozing out over the front of our the front of this black layer, right? Not, don't use too much glue. Too much glue is a bad thing. We're going to put that right on here and make sure we're covering up all those little edges. If you didn't cut it close enough or you need to cut it a little bit more, you can trim around the edges with it. Now, the glue really gives you that wiggle room to move this back and forth a little bit, so that's another reason why I love glue. Here's our hooray. I'm going to get out a mini glue dot to put our little cute little hat on here. And my hat's going to go oh, right there. I'm just going to put it right there. Isn't that cute? Stinking adorable. I see I need to trim this just a little bit because I can see some white sticking out and that's just not going to be okay with me. Okay. Got that done. <clears throat> here comes our piece. And now, here's what we're going to do. I've got, where did my baker's twine go? I had it right here. It fell on the floor. I've got 18 inches of baker's twine here. You need 18 inches of something, whether it's baker's twine or um, <clears throat> ribbon, whatever it may be, you need 18 inches. And then... I think I counted out about six or seven inches from this bottom edge right here because we're going to need this to tie a bow. So I'd say leave about four and a half inches of ribbon or baker's twine hanging off this end. And now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to tape this down so it doesn't slide off. Now here's what I found when I made this card earlier today. I needed something over this to hold this baker's twine down over here. And if you don't do that, when you wrap it around the front of your card, this is going to be flopping in the wind and it's not going to stay where you need it to stay. And it's ugly on the back. So remember this piece from the inside right here? And Nancy, you're asking what is the best glue to use? This is our Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue and you'll find an ordering link for this on my blog where you can order it. Love the multi-purpose glue. I use it pretty much exclusively. So I'm going to take that piece that was in the middle here and I'm going to add glue to both long ends and I'm just going to glue that right down here. That's going to cover up that ugly tape on the back of this because you know you are going to be able to kind of see the back of this when you open the card. And then we're going to take a couple dimensionals and we're going to put them right over here. We want to keep them right over on the side like this. Wow, 192. Holy cow, you guys. I feel like a rock star. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to center this on the front of my card. What do you guys think? Isn't this cute? You're going to tie this in a bow. Before I'm done with this card, where did my candles go? I wanted to put a little silver candle on here. And to get the adhesive off the backs, just use your pokey tool. And that'll pull that, that paper strip off of there. I'm going to put this little silver candle right down here. Can you see it? How cute is that? It's so cute. Okay, and here's your card open. Here's your card closed. And now you're just going to tie it up and tie a bow right here on the end. And I made this card, like I said, with the other side of this designer series paper. So hang on, I'll show that to you. You don't want to tie this in a knot. You need people to be able to open their birthday card. I know I always like to tie my baker's twine in a knot first. Well, that's kind of a crummy bow. Hang on, 
and there we go. Okay, and boom. There's our cute little bow on the edge. What do you guys think? I don't know what this fun fold is called. It's just super cute. It's just a really, really cute little fun fold card. This will stand up. Like, it stands up just like this. It's really adorable. And I love this new bundle, right? This is fun. Okay, so I told you that I took that designer series paper and... <clears throat> Excuse me, where's my paper? Here we go. Um, the back side of the colored paper is black and gold. Okay, so you've got stripes, we've got polka dots, we've got this gold, we've got candles. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then, oops. Hang on, I had it, almost had it. We've also got white with black and gold and gray. Okay, so I took each one of these panels, this one, this one, and this one, and I just flipped them over and made a card out of that. Are you ready to see that? Hello, Lisa. Welcome. Check this out. So this is just the other side. The other side of this green stripe paper is this. The other side of the party hat paper is this. And I used the gold metallic edged ribbon. I used a gold candle on here, a gold hat. I cut out the wish word that is right here. And I put that on there. I stamped a black balloon and gold embossed the string and then I used the back side of this one is the stripes. Thank you, Lisa. I thought it was pretty genius too. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be so cool. So we have a very kind of sophisticated manly birthday card here. And this one you could use for just about anybody. You could use it for an adult or a kid. It could be for, um, um, Male or female. I tend to use females. I usually send more florally cards because I love stamping flowers and all that. But isn't that fun? Same darn designer series paper. This is a great pack of paper, you guys. All right. Let me bring back in. I'm pretty sure that's my last bucket. It is. Let me bring back in. Some of this stuff. Hang on, I gotta get this mess cleaned up just a little bit. So I can bring this stuff back in here. Maybe, maybe I'll get my room cleaned up this week, I hope. I need to get, oh, I should show you guys the camera. I will, I'll show you in just a second my big disastrous mess with paper. Oh my lord. I had slave labor here today with the kids. Um, the oldest one, Andy, I had her use my label maker and make me new labels for my new colors. I'm, I bought all new hanging files for my paper. But I'm going to, I had her do that for me. So that's why I call it, ch oh, child labor, not slave labor. Here we go. We had an octopus card. We had our animal outing. Oh, and here's our envelope for that cute baby card. Did I make another one? Oh, I got four cards there. Yep, that's what I got. Oh, I showed. I told you I was going to show you some more of these. The octopus, you guys saw this one if you follow me on my blog. Um, I love this card. I made this for a blog, a color, uh, color challenge blog hop. And then we have this cutie patootie. This is the designer series paper called Tranquil Textures, I believe. Frank's got pearly eyes. Ooh, kind of spooky. Then we've also got, oh, look at that. Again, with the sand dollars, and there's that netting stamp. I love, love, love this card. And this is by Sarah Simon. Sarah's watching tonight. This is her card. I love this one, Sarah. You did a fabulous job. Okay, I promised to show you those to you, and then I didn't, so I'm really sorry. Here's the cards that we made tonight. And then, let's see, does anybody have any questions? Thank you, Michael, another successful video. That is so sweet of you, I appreciate it. Um, 
Let's see. Let's see if I can get a shot of my... I'm going to turn you guys around so you're facing me again. So if you get um, seasick or motion sickness, please close your eyes for just a second. I'm going to do this. And this. Hello. It's me again. I thought it's nicer to talk to you guys than it is to... Don't open your eyes yet. Than it is to have you guys face in the table, right? <laughs> That's not that fun. But anyways, do you see, here we go. Do you see that pile of paper? I need to get all of that put away. And there's stuff all over my room back here that you can't see on purpose. <laughs> that I need to get put away. Linda, do the Stampin' Blends come in kits or individually? They do come individually. Thanks, Suzette. Thank you. Um, here's my Stampin' Blends. I have mine in this basket. Oops, there went one. Where did it go? Well, I'll find that. Oh, it's way over under my chair. But I just have mine in a basket like this. And they do come, um, well, they're individual. <clears throat> You can buy the light and the dark in each color. And the nice part about that is they don't come in a pack together because if you run out of one of them, you don't have to buy them both again. So, so yeah, they do, they do come in pairs. Oh, somebody asked where I'm located. I'm in Wisconsin. I am in the Fox Valley. I live in Menasha. I do most of my events in um, Fond du Lac, Oshkosh, and Mina. So... Thanks, Haley. I appreciate it. Um, are there teeny fish? Oh, yes, there's teeny fish. Let me show you. Where did my sample go? Okay, Elaine. See this right here? That is a die cut of the tiny little fish. Yeah, thanks, Haley. I'm in Wisconsin. Didn't I say that? I thought I did. I'm sorry. Those are the tiny little fish dies. Where is that? I'll show it to you. Oh, that's not the right one. Okay, they're right here. Ready? See, these are the little fish right here. Sue, you used to vacation in Oshkosh? What were you coming to Oshkosh for to vacation? Because I know we have like EAA here. That is like the world's biggest air show or whatever they call it. Yes, okay, that's a great question. I missed who asked that question. Um, but any, any type of markers should never be stored like this. Like we wanna put them in a cup like this, no. Sharpie markers, Sharpie markers like that are fine. Nobody cares. But these are kind of pricey. And you always want your markers, your stamp and write markers and these alcohol markers laying down like this. You do not want them to be up like this. No, that is not the way you store those. And then Diane just asked another question. Oh my gosh, I had it in my head and then I forgot. Diane, what was your question? Um, what's the die set called again with the netting and the fish? Um, sea of textures. Great question. Sea, oh, it's backwards, but it's sea of textures and under the sea framelits. Diane, what was Diane's? Oh, when do they come out? The new blends. Thank you, Haley. Um, the new blends are coming around the middle of June. The new colors, we will have blends available in the new colors that are in the catalog the middle of June. And I'm thinking because I don't know if all the new colors come with blends. I doubt it. But whatever the new colors are for Stampin' Blends in the catalog, um, they'll be coming the middle of June. Not Frank and Friends? Well, we're calling it Frank and Friends, right? <laughs> yeah. Good one. Good one, Denise. Okay. Don't forget to share the video. Share, share, share. Um... And make sure you leave a comment that says you shared the video. You can just type in the comments, shared. 
Oh, Tina, where do you live now? You're moving to De Pere in March. Because that's not too far from here. Um, there's 11 new colors coming. Thank you, Donna. That's awesome. 11 new Stampin' Blend colors are coming. Make sure you type shared in the comments because if you're not my friend on Facebook, I won't be able to see that you shared this. And that way I can get you into the drawing. Three drawings for comments, for sharing, and for placing an order in my online store. If you'd like to place an order, you can go to www.astampabove.com. That's my blog in the right-hand column. Just scroll down a little bit. You're going to find an online ordering button. And like I said, these projects that I made tonight will be posted on my blog on Tuesday with a... Um, I upload this video to YouTube and then I put it on my blog for people who aren't on Facebook. So the video will be on there and then I will have details and dimensions for all the cards that we, that I shared tonight, that I showed you, that we made. I always like to say we made them because I, I don't feel alone here <laughs> in my room when I'm making cards with you guys. So thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Jackie. Debbie, does anybody have any other questions? Um, I will be live again next Sunday, June 17th at 7 p.m. And um, the following weekend, the 24th, I will not be live. I'm going to be in Florida with some of the kids. Um, my stepdaughter Stephanie and I and her two sons and then Haley and her boyfriend are all going to Florida. And that's what I gave Haley as a graduation gift was um, I'm paying for her trip to Florida. Stephanie started it. She said, I'm taking the boys down to Universal. And I'm like, I want to go. I love amusement parks and I love Disney and Universal and all that. And she said, come with us. And I'm like, awesome. And then I thought, Hey, I could buy that for Haley for a graduation gift because she loves, um, we love roller coasters. So that's what we're doing on the 24th. We'll be down in Orlando. I'm sure it'll be super hot there just the way I like it. Susan, this is the first time you've watched me. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll come back and watch again. I'm on live Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Time right here. Haley's excited for Florida. Yes, indeed. I'm excited, too. I can't hardly wait. Thank you, Heather. Thank you very much. Anybody, any other questions? Oh, Lisa, that's your son's birthday. Well, you can have cake and ice cream, and we'll be in Florida sweating our, glistening our buns off. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. I love the tiara, too. It suits me. I stamp better when I wear my tiara. <laughs> yeah, Suzette, you are hot. I know, Haley looked it up today to see what the temperature was, and um, she said it was like 94 or something. Um, while that's a little warm, we do love hot weather. What's my favorite new stamp set? Okay, hang tight. Where did those stamp sets go? Let me show you. It is, hands down, this one. This one is called Healing Hugs. And I haven't opened it yet because I have to get ready for my stamp clubs and I have to get ready for my workshop on Wednesday and I had to get ready for this and I had some ideas in my head, but I'm pretty sure you're going to see this next week because I need to be making swap cards this week. I'm in four different swaps and I have to get creating for that. So, um, yeah, yeah, Linda. In Florida, it's not the temperature, it's the humidity. I know, I totally love the humidity. We were in Mexico in, I don't know, the beginning of May, and I love, we love that heat. Steve and I both. We love the heat, we love the humidity, and um, yeah. <gasps> you haven't seen this one, Denise? Well, go back and watch the beginning of my video. I went through all my new um, stamp sets and showed them to you. I love, 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 love this. Yes, and Haley's hair will be ringlet curls from the humidity because she has so much natural curl. And I will watch out for alligators. Don't worry, our resort has a pool with no lake. So, excuse me, my eye is like kind of itchy. Um, the rose metallic cord is going to be on the ribbon page. Hang on, Suzette. 
Let me share that with you. I don't have my tabs in my catalog yet, but I'm getting pretty good at getting to these pages. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm lying. <laughs> that didn't work out so good. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Metallic thread is on. Oh, here it is. Okay. Metallic thread right there. It's with the gold, the silver, the copper, and then the new one says rose right there. Turn healing hugs around. It is upside down. No, there's nothing I can do about that. Because I've got the camera facing me, it is going to be backwards. I'm sorry. But you can look it up in my online store. Just type in healing hugs and the stamp set will come up so you can see it. I don't think I have anything else, you guys. Um... Do you, everybody good? We're good? We're good on a Sunday night. I think we're good. Okay, I am going to go. Um, oh, Jackie, just a second. All of the ribbon and twine and thread is on page 200 and 201. And then those little candles that I used are on page 198. Right here, aren't those pretty? I love them. Okay, I don't think I have anything else for you. You guys have a great week. Thank you, Denise. Thank you very much. Thank you all for watching. I just really appreciate it. Sarah, I will see you sometime tomorrow for the Tranquil Tide cardstock. Sarah's loaning me some cardstock because I ran out. Um, and my Fond du Lac ladies, I will see you tomorrow night for Stamp Club. My Oshkosh ladies, I'll see you Tuesday night. And my Nina Menasha Appleton ladies, I'll see you Thursday night. And Lola, if you're watching, I will see you on Wednesday. <laughs> it's going to be a busy week. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Bye-bye.